What's up, everybody? It's, it's been a minute. I'll be honest, it, it's been a minute. But I, I'm not even going to dwell on that. Took a little break from YouTube to get back on track with school, finish up the year strong. But we're back, and I guess I'm a Poketuber again. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I have some news. Uh, so Pikachu's hidden ability, when it comes to its Gigantamax form, uh, was always locked away. You weren't able to get Lightning Rod, Gigantamax Pikachu, but now you're able to get Lightning Rod, Gigantamax Pikachu, and it does make a couple of differences as to how you would end up running this thing. Um, really, it just makes its already existing teams perform a bit better. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Also, thank you to Mr. Danger Moss uh, for actually doing my channel rebrand. In fact, I'll show you guys. This is what I'm streaming with. Look at this setup. Also a face cam. What's up? Didn't mean to do that. This is like my new stream layout, and I think that just looks so clean. It looks so great. He did an amazing job. We got new thumbnails. We got new everything. Link to all of his social medias are going to be in the description down below. He does the work for a good price, and I really appreciate everything he did for the channel. It looks amazing. Uh, and also, Venusaur Analysis. That is 100% coming out this Sunday. If it doesn't, unsubscribe from the channel, because that means I probably gave up on life. But let's go ahead and get into this. Let's talk about... Let's talk about Gigantamax Pikachu. <clears throat> so... Uh, here I have a sample team called Pikachonker and friends, and this is actually a really interesting thing. So, Lightning Rod Pikachu affects the matchup uh, that the team would typically have in a few different ways. So, Pikachu plus Togekiss was always a really strong combination. Uh, it's able to, um, it, like Togekiss is able to deal with Excadrill in a way. So, uh, Pikachu, it's Gigantamax move. Uh, G Max Volt Crash, I believe it's called, paralyzes everything on your opponent's side of the field with the exception of Electro types because they're literally not capable of being paralyzed. Fun fact ground types can be paralyzed, so you're actually able to follow me away what is hopefully a ground type move to the flying type, uh, taking absolutely no damage. Uh, and then you go for your uh, Max Lightning, uh, your G Max Volt Crash into the partner of the Excadrill, or just go for a Surf into the Excadrill and KO it. Uh, so basically, Max Volt Crash will paralyze the Excadrill, meaning that you're faster than it, it has a chance to not move at all. It's great. Surf, when you turn it into Max Geyser, is actually a two-shot, and I EV'd this Pikachu in particular uh, to outspeed uh, Excadrill. Jolly Excadrill is outsped by exactly one point, uh, and you're also able to take a high horsepower from Jolly Max Attack uh, non-Life Orb Excadrill at minus one. So Incineroar is an amazing partner for this Pikachu. Uh, but yeah, Togekiss, I would recommend running a Beery Berry. By the way, this sample team is going to be in the description for you all to use. Um, this is, I'm not going to play with it for now. I'll actually be live streaming with this team on Twitch tonight, so go ahead and check that out. It'll be up around 5.30 CST. But yeah, um, I would recommend running the Beery Berry Togekiss because it actually helps the Excadrill matchup uh, quite a bit. The Beery Berry makes it so you're able to take a Max Steel Spike or just a regular Steel type move from the Excadrill uh, in case they end up saying, all right, I'm going to go for the Steel move instead of the Ground move because it's obviously going to get redirected into the Togekiss. And you can even just play some mind games like, you know, you redirect the Ground move the first turn and then the next turn they're like, okay, well, obviously you have to go for the Steel move and you still survive the hit. It's great for Pikachu uh, considering how powerful this thing is with Light Ball doubling its special attack stat. This thing is EV'd particularly to two shot um, Excadrill with Max Geyser, which is really, really nice. And the thing is, this matchup already existed. You're all, you were already able to use this team, like this combination effectively. And it only got better when Lightning Rod was released because now Togekiss is safe from electric type moves. Rotom Wash is one of the most common Pokemon in the format. Here's standard Rotom right now. It's a nasty plot uh, with a lot of bulk and decent amount of speed. And this Pikachu is actually able to take Modest Max Special Attack Max Geyser from Rotom. I EV in particular for that because um, if you're using Pikachu and Togekiss, you can follow me away the uh, water type move, but if they're smart uh, and go for an electric type move expecting for you to follow me away the Max Geyser, uh, the follow me actually overrides Lightning Rod, which is a fun interaction I didn't know existed. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, you want your Pikachu to be able to actually take a Max Geyser. You're able to take that Max Geyser and you can go for a uh, Max Volt Crash. It won't one-shot it uh, on, if they're Dynamaxed. I mean, if they're Dynamaxed, it, it will never one-shot it. But uh, if you're at plus one, if you manage to switch in and get the plus one, your, uh, your G-Max Volt Crash will actually always one-shot a, uh, a, a uh, Rotom at plus one. I feel like I've been saying Excadrill a lot when I meant to say Rotom. I'm hoping I said Rotom. So forgive me if that was the case. Yeah, Pikachu is actually able to one-shot Rotom at plus one, uh, which is going to be easy to get if you're using Togekiss. Uh, something... I actually have an entire list of Pokemon checked by Pikachu now. 
let's start off down the list. So Rotom Watch, I just explained that matchup. Excadrill, I explained that matchup. G Max Charizard. This is an interesting one. So Max Charizard is actually able to deal with um, Pikachu pretty well. Uh, it's able to go for uh, Heat Wave in the sun and with Life Orb, it's just able to knock it out. Like you can't redirect that. Uh, you're never gonna outspeed, uh, which is why I would actually recommend running either Whimsicott for Tailwind or uh, Venusaur with the Wide Lens. So Venusaur helps out on this team because versus GMAX Charizard teams, you're gonna get the sun up pretty much 100% of the time. Wide Lens allows you to put them to sleep and then you're able to spam GMAX Volt Crash while they won't get paralyzed. Um, it'll just make it so you constantly have this threat of putting them to sleep uh, and being able to take them out with uh, Max Volt Crash. That, and that, I think that's really cool. I think Venusaur is one of the best partners for this Pokemon, considering it's got a pretty decent speed stat in 80. Pikachu is faster, but uh, the 80 speed stat in the sun will allow you to beat sun teams effectively, and that's really, really nice. Um, I feel like I haven't covered Incineroar. Incineroar is just standard Incineroar. Safety goggles uh, allows you to beat opposing Venusaur uh, and also just check sun teams a little bit better. Once again, intimidate, intimidating physical attackers like uh, Excadrill or Mudsdale allowing you to live uh, minus one high horsepower, which is really, really cool um here and the gmax lapras this is one of the more interesting matchups um this is one of the matchups where i'd say uh you're definitely going to want to go with uh, either a venusaur or a whimsicott on your team because max volt crash despite it being super effective is never going to one shot a gmax lapras however with this investment that we have here um at minus two special defense let's say the lapras takes a fake tears it will one shot it and the reason you absolutely have to one shot it or put it to sleep uh, is because most Lapras are running the weakness policy item, which my general philosophy when it comes to beating G Max Lapras is hey, don't touch it, snarl it, do whatever you need to, make sure it doesn't have special attack. Because if you hit it with a super effective move, it's always going to live it and it's always going to get its weakness policy up, making it a bigger threat than it really needed to be in the first place. Or with G Max Pikachu, um, I'd say. You just gotta you just gotta get rid of it you're not gonna take any hit from lapras considering how frail this thing is that's the thing it's so frail and that's why it needs defensive investment because with double hp it's able to live things but just barely uh with proper support you choose an amazing pokemon uh but it's it's definitely a gimmick uh, i'll give it that and it's it's not as reliable you need proper support so at minus two you're able to one shot this thing with uh gmax volt crash which is really really nice uh and those are honestly like the matchups that improved uh, Lapras would sometimes run an electric move to beat uh, opposing water types like it'd be able to hit Rotom Wash for some decent damage uh, once again that lightning rod is going to be essential to helping out with that uh, you're able to switch in on so many things if you're able to predict an electric move GMAX Pikachu gets so so much scarier uh, and if you're wondering what the Dragapult's doing here the team's honestly just lacking speed and I wanted to make a team that's pretty easy to use uh, this is Fly Dragapult with Dragon Arts Phantom Force Protect, Clear Body, and a Life Orb. If you're wondering why I'm running Fly, it's because there are going to be certain matchups where you like intend to Gigantamax Pikachu, um, and you're just not able to go with it. Like it, it just ends up not being ideal. However, Pikachu with enough speed is still pretty threatening, in my opinion, considering how high that special attack set is. If you haven't received a Thunder from Pikachu uh, with max special attack and a Light Ball, I, don't talk to me. You have not experienced the pain I've experienced. Um, but with uh max airstream dragapult you're able to get the prior not priority you're able to get the very fast uh speed boost off uh making your pikachu actually a lot more threatening you're able to throw things off like thunder surf grass nut and it's actually just um really nice combination if it comes to it i honestly would recommend bringing dragapult to games where pikachu isn't ideal there are a few matchups that pikachu doesn't want to deal with um and it's it's very uncommon for you to bring both of these things but if you do manage to end up in that situation max fly is nice um it also helps out with Venusaur Wide Lens and uh, just speed boosting Rotom Wash, which has a decent amount of speed, but it's it's not the fastest thing in the field. But yeah, um, in my opinion, Lightning Rod on GMAX Pikachu makes it a hell of a lot more threatening. It's a great uh, offensive Pokemon. It's, it's super frail. It's like the definition of a glass cannon, even more so than Dragapult was because people are starting to run uh, much more bulky Dragapults at weakness policy. But yeah, uh, that's the team for you guys to use. I want to know what you guys think about Gigantamax Pikachu in the comment section down below. Do you think it's great? Do you think it's bad? Do you think it's going to affect the meta at all? Personally, I feel like it's going to be... And excuse the level 60 Pikachu, that's supposed to be level 50. Uh, personally, I feel like Gigantamax Pikachu isn't going to make the biggest splash in the metagame. Uh, however, it's going to see a big surge in usage for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I figured you might as well be prepared for beating Gigantamax Pikachu. Uh, its biggest check is funny enough um, opposing Gigantamax Pikachu because you can't really do too much damage to each other. 
Uh, I, I suppose your best bet would be going for Max Geyser. Uh, but yeah, that's my take on Pikachu. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. And be sure to tune into my Twitch stream later tonight. Uh, that'll be at 5, 5.30 CST, whichever one I end up having the time for. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice night. Thank you.